it's day three of NAM. We're here on the Waves booth with Luke, who's going to show us not a processing plug-in as we've usually come to expect from Waves, but a rather nice sample piano. Now, what's the story behind this? Well, this is a really cool one, Paul, and we've got um, now four virtual instruments in um, uh, piano form. And so we started with uh, an electric 200, which yep. is very similar to the Wurlitzer. Um, we then, uh, sorry, we actually did the uh, Rose piano first. Mm, right. That was our E88. And then we also have come out with the electric 80, which is similar to the Yamaha piano, uh, classic electric piano there. So mm -hmm. those are three that are already out and available. Yeah. And now we're coming out with a grand piano that we painstakingly sampled. And the piano itself is a Fazioli that's been housed at Metropolis Studios in the UK for many, many years. And so most lately, um, Adele has used it to record some of her pop hits, and uh, it's been there for a very long time. So it's a legendary piano. And so we uh, took it very seriously when we sampled it. And we put eight mics around in the room, a mixture of condensers, dynamics, and ribbons. And uh, inside of the virtual instrument itself, we give you a lot of control over those sampled sounds yeah. and uh, the different microphones and their tonal characteristics. So it's a very special thing. And I guess it's multi sampled to a great depth with both sustain on and off and all the usual tricks. Absolutely. And it's got obviously some great waves processing built into it too, like a compressor, uh, multi-band EQ and uh, a pretty nice sound of reverb too. Right, so the aim yeah. is to come out with a, a fully produced piano sound for your mix. Absolutely right, and one that doesn't tank your computer, so it's pretty efficient as well. Yeah, yeah. although fairly large I hear. Yeah, it is fairly large. You know, we always do that dance, but yeah. we want it to sound really good. But we work really hard too to make sure it, at least it doesn't crash your computer, so it should be okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's, let's take a look. All right, awesome. So yeah, if we take a look at the GUI of the Grand Rhapsody piano, Here's where you have the control over those different microphones that we used. And like I said, you have a nice ability to have a blend of three. And uh, I can adjust the delay time of each microphone as well, so you can uh, basically adjust the phase coherency between the microphones. And as you see, as I select different microphones, then I'm able to um, actually see a cool graphic there too, so you know exactly what's going on and where those microphones were placed, most importantly. Uh, you have some ability to adjust the sustain residence here based on what sustain pedal you're using. And then like I said, you also have this compressor, uh, which is just one knob, works very nicely, uh, with auto makeup gain, of course, and all that built in. And then a multi-band EQ here. And then we also have a nice Waze reverb built right into it. So um, should I play it back for a second? Would you like yes, to hear it? why not? Might as well, it's nice and quiet right now. Not too bad. And a lot of control over the tonality there with the different microphones and the EQ and reverb built all right in there. So so we're hoping people like it. And now that it's the fourth plugin, excuse me, the fourth virtual instrument that we've come out with recently, all piano based, we're going to create a bundle very soon when this comes out. And uh, the intro price is going to be 69 And so get it while it's hot. And a few months later, it'll move up to 99 So hopefully affordable for a lot of different types of people. And how long do you think before you're ready to deliver it? Um, I'm hoping a couple of weeks. If everything goes well by the end of January, it'll be out. Yeah. Thanks for that, Luke. No problem. Thanks for coming over, Paul.